a new video if you are new to my channel please like comment subscribe and let's get straight into the video so today we're doing a q a oh i put some i asked people on my instagram to put some questions and everything and then there's some questions um people been wanting to ask and my sister really helped me out like she put all the good questions because everybody was being a butt and skipping i'm like oh that's cute that's cute so it's okay all right so the first question biggest hell in crofton crazy like damn but i'm gonna answer it to be honest, I feel like majority of the people in Crofton, if y'all didn't know, I attend Crofton High School. I am a senior. I feel like there's who hoe around and don't respect and protect their temple. It's boys and girls. It's not. It's majority of people in Crofton. I'm not going to lie. Where do you see yourself in 10 years? I'm the type of person. I'm a you going to see where I'm going to be at. I don't like talking too much of my future because people have bad intentions for you and evil eye the fuck out of you, if you know what I'm trying to say. But what I will tell you is I want to be a nurse so bad, and I really do. I want to be a traveling nurse. Fuck. Y'all, I'm not going to lie. I went on D&D &D and everything, but I kept answering questions, but I deleted the video because... I was not awake for real. Like I kept stuttering, stuck in on my stuck on my words. It was embarrassing. So I'ma answer these questions a little fast. What made you want to start YouTube? It was a lot of different content creators I love, like Kiana J, Smooth Geo, Hezo, my baby. Um Kayla Nicole the little joint with the ponytail. Oh, that's my I love her. She was funny as shit. She was herself. Um who else, y'all? Bambi. It's Bambi Barbie. Get a used to it. I said clean and clear. First take. Gather round. Celebrate. That is my bitch. Period. So, yeah. It's just like a lot of YouTubers. I'll name some more, too. But I watch Bambi a lot. I really do love Bambi. She's the reason why I knew a lot about the LGBTQ community, like, for real. Do you have a first love? And if so, do y'all talk? My first love passed away. His name was Alessio. Very unique name, so that's why I said it, because he was a very unique person. He, he had me upset, too, like, but I really did love him. Like, he was literally my first everything. He was my first boyfriend. So, that was in 2019 of July. I really did care about him too. That's the thing, but I don't know. And so we meet again. Best compliment you ever received. When some boy said, um, I'm the type of girl Drake writes songs about. Like, <laughs> come my way, because that was a cute compliment. Biggest obstacles you overcome. Accepting who people are, accepting how things are, accepting mistakes I have made. So it's like starting to accept and not be so angry at the outcomes of things. Because at the end of the day, if you want to become a better person, you can do that. <sighs> what do you like to do in your free time? I love doing a lot of things. I love reading. I love journaling. I love art. Um... I love watching YouTube videos. I love those little radio talks. Not the radio talks, but y'all know what I mean. Like the conversations people be having. Like people interviewing different decorating. I love photography. I love taking pictures of myself. I do a lot in my free time. Best advice you ever received. Like, I gotta think. You are who you hang around. And that is very true. You don't have to be just completely like the person. But you really are who you hang around. Like, you align with that person for a reason. 
Sometimes it's for a lesson so you can destroy those traits of yourself. Because the more negative traits, like, you see yourself doing with a certain person, you need to destroy those traits and become a better person and distance yourself for individual growth. Like, I used to just hang around straight whores, bitches who didn't have no accomplishments, didn't want to do anything, always talking about niggas, never talking about money moves, business, something they want to do in their future, talking about good things. If you're around females who just tr straight talk about niggas and drama and iffy shit, you need to distance yourself away from them. Like, for real, like, who are a, who are miserable, like, who don't got nothing going on for themselves. You need to distance yourself. So that is my biggest question. That's the best advice I ever got, for real. You are who you hang around with. So, what's the biggest life lesson you learned? Not everybody's your friend. I'm still learning that to this day. Not everybody's your friend. I feel like the biggest thing, I'm a very smart individual but i feel like my biggest setback is people like i'm so fucking nice like it needs to stop best advice you'll give someone you can give someone be your fucking self so you don't align with the wrong crowd i'm telling you people are fucking followers bro please be your fucking self when people tell you be yourself that shit is true let's say you're acting like this whole new different bitch and you know that's not you you're gonna align with the wrong people you're gonna be like these not my people because you being someone you're not so that's my advice please be yourself so you can align with the right energy coming from someone who used to try to fake to be cool knowing i was a dorky ass little girl i loved reading comics and watching anime then i try to act all cool and fast and grown be yourself be yourself so you don't align with the wrong crowd and who cares if you're an outcast? At least you're not no bullshit. I, shit, that's my advice. Introvert or extrovert? I'm an extrovert, but if I'm uncomfortable, I'll turn into an introvert. I'm just a shy person when I'm very uncomfortable or the room is awkward or if it's a lot going on. Any relationship advice? Don't tell people your fucking business. When something goes down with your man or your female, keep that shit between y'all. The biggest thing in this generation I don't fuck with is everybody runs to other people except the person that they are dealing with. And I did the same thing. And I'm going to own up to it. Because that's why I feel bad for my ex. Because I used to just go to people and never go to him and communicate. So it kind of made him feel uncomfortable. Like, I can't even go to you. Like, I feel like you're just going to tell everybody else. So that is my biggest thing. Please communicate with your partner. Please have patience with your partner. Please accept your partner for who they are. And for real... If I'm being honest, take that little La La Lucy image you be seeing them as and accept them for who they are. You cannot change a person. You have to accept and love them for who they are. If you see yourself growing with this person, be there for them. Be patient with them. Communicate with them. As soon as something happens, communicate about it. Don't just wait about it. Just don't wait, bro. And then it's like the final blow. You take all your anger out on them. As soon as something happens, Communicate it, set the boundary, it's over. That's my biggest advice when it comes to relationships. Favorite thing about making content? My favorite thing is like being with funny people because I love a funny person like who says the right things to make me laugh. I'm I'm a goofy girl, like I love laughing. You cannot be boring, bro. What's your motivation to keep going in life? My parents, I say this to everybody, my father and my mom who passed away. Like, they are my biggest, biggest motivation. I'm doing this for them. But also myself and my family, but I'm really doing this for them. Greatest accomplishment. Um, Did I already have a question like that? Hmm. I'll answer it again. Just a big accomplishment for real. It's just like doing a lot for myself, like growing into the person I want to be and still growing since I'm young. So it's like I'd rather grow now, go through a couple mistakes, than do it all later. Like I'd rather do it now so I can be the person I want to be once life is really up there. Can't you see I'm tired? I'm just talking. Do vlogs. I will do vlogs. I will do get ready with me. Um, I'll do days in my life too. This is the same person, so I'm just answering her. I will do mukbangs, but 
Be warned, bitch. I eat like a man, and I don't give a fuck who's watching. I'm not about to eat a salad in front of y'all and act cute. Bitch, I'll... Tips for the girls. For my girls, uh... Be yourself. Love yourself. Surround yourself with positive energy. I'll have a little video showing y'all, like, my little hygiene stuff. So, stay tuned for that. My hygiene tips. What are some of your favorite hygiene products? Stay tuned. How does your IG fan base grow? I, I wish I never deleted that video because I explained all of it just to delete it. But, y'all, I was just slugging my words. I was like, uh. But... Reach out to pages that have a clothing brand and ask to be... I don't want to say it wrong, but y'all know what I'm talking about. Ask to be their little model or whatever for their like page and promote them. So, yeah. Be in gang group chats and have a connection with the people in there. Like their stuff frequently. Um, repost people. You have to post. Your page is not going to gain shit if you don't post. It don't matter what the fuck it is. It could be quotes. It could be little food cooking vlog it could be anything post frequently not like oc like every second like damn bitch we get it but post please post and look good don't look ugly child that's all i'm gonna say because one thing about instagram they do not care please make some reels reels are popping right now you can be on your favorite artist's real feed okay people be watching reels tiktok too tiktok is a good help so tiktok be coming in with them views put your instagram your snapchat in that bio or that little link that tiktok got so they can just tap on your social media and they can follow you right away be interesting on your social media when i was on my main account i would post like shit on my story that's how i got followers follow content creators that do youtube celebrities anything music it don't matter when they go live join that shit sometimes they accept it and talk to them their fan base or their followers will follow the fuck out of you. I promise y'all. Like, with, when I joined Lil D's live, I was like, oh, I know I'm a little young to be following up with Lil D, but he's fine. Mind your business. I got hella followers. I got 60 followers from him. Like, that shit is for the real. What are some of your favorite accomplishments? I already answered that. I don't feel like answering it again. What influenced you to become the person you are today? Myself. Individual growth. Seeing negative things around me on repeat like a broken record. Stay away from it. I'm still trying to learn that to this day. But my excuse is that I'm young and I'm trying. That is not who I am. That's the person I don't want to become. But I want to become a better version of myself. I don't want to be saying some, well, that's how I am. Hell no. I'm going to tell you I'm trying to change. So, you know. Hmm. What is something you would tell your younger self? We are a bad bitch, bro. Like, for real. I was insecure as shit. Like, I was ugly, bro. Like, I felt so depressed because I wanted to look like everybody else. But, I don't know. I want to I wanna tell my younger self that we were being ourselves. We didn't have to act like someone we weren't. To attract the wrong crowd. Energy aligns. And you are who you hang out with. That's what I was trying to tell y'all. Because I would try to be a people pleaser don't people please be you it attracts the better if you could if you could look back and change something what would it be i would change how things honestly went with certain people like not the people who did me wrong but the people we both did each other wrong and just talk about it what is your nationality? I am Bahamian, Dominican, and Haitian. Um, high school advice for freshmen. Oh, my God. Just be yourself. Love you. Love yourself. You don't have to be around a big crowd of people. You don't. I promise you. You don't have to be around hella people to look cool. Like, vibe alone, and then the right crowd's going to approach you. I promise you. You're going to find someone in high school, bro. I swear to God advice for fake friends cut them hoes the fuck off you do not need them i'm going to ask you this how do they benefit you and how are they going to benefit you now and in the future they're not cut them the fuck off they are not going to change you cannot change people i am talking to y'all how i be talking about motherfucking selves when it comes to fake ass bitches cut them the fuck 
off they are weird as fuck you do not need them in your circle your closest friends be having hella animosity not every single friend but when you be feeling that weird shit your gut's right listen to your intuition keep that distance with people don't get too too close to people don't trust no fucking body don't have faith in hoes because when you have faith you get disappointed every motherfucking time not real shit i may go on my man i got the log in my man hours later sorry guys appreciate it you're holding everybody else up because you're an inconsiderate bastard could you please hurry the fuck up you miss your eggs cut signa i miss the memories i don't miss all the bullshit when it was good it was it was good when it was bad it was that shit was ass. Where are you from? I am from the Bahamas, Freeport. Period. What do you want to do with your life? Nursing. What the fuck? Sorry. Who was your worst relationship? Y'all messy as hell. Um. Do you want me to say it? I'm not saying that. That is so motherfucking messy. Y'all gonna get me caught the fuck up, bitch. <laughs> Ooh. What do you love about yourself? I love how nice I can be. Because there's not a lot of nice people no more. But people will take advantage of your ass. Just don't be dumb. How was senior year going? It was going great. It's going great. Like, the partial is amazing. <sighs> yes. What is your type? Mm. Like that L home. Oh, starting off. I love black men. Dark skins break my heart, so I don't fuck with y'all for real. I love me a light skin. I don't care what y'all say. Fruity, whatever. They are fine. Um, I love Hispanics. I love white boys. I love Asian boys. I never been with an Asian, but they are so cute. What do you love about high school? I love how it's like we have four years left, and it's like you have to make the best of it. There's gonna be bad days, but when the good days are good, it's a really good day. But yeah, y'all. Those are the questions for real. So, I'm glad I got to talk to y'all for real. Hey, this ring like popping. Look at my Stanley. Mama. As y'all can tell, I love pink. I really do. I'm now finally starting to love it. But yes. I am done. Sorry, I threw the fuck out of my iPad. I was like, fuck this shit. Look at the lashes. They growing back. <sighs> but I hope y'all enjoyed my video. Thank you. Ooh. So much for tuning in my shit. Ooh. And I'm going to see y'all in the next motherfucking uh -uh video. Ooh. 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 Damn. Uh, uh, Taking off. Until next time, I gotta give y'all a little a nickname. Like, I'm gonna call y'all my. What am I gonna call y'all? We're gonna figure that out. Leave it in the comments. I'm gonna see y'all next time.